Hey, welcome or welcome back to the channel. Today, more of The Wire, Season 2, Episode 11, Bad Dreams. Now, thoughts on the last episode? Uh, they'll be back there. Ziggy, man, he just, he finally had it. And, uh, <laughs> here we are. There was a scene last episode that I cut out of the final edit. It was when Prop Joe was talking to Cheese in the repair shop. And in the beginning of the scene, Prop Joe had switched the power cord on a toaster and then told somebody to resell it for like $750. And no point in wasting a good toaster for a power for a cable. And I really liked that scene, both the practicality of it. Yes, why throw this away? Just switch the cord and the cable. I, I it's just a very subtle flashlight on this businessman, this drug guy, this kingpin on the east side that is still sweating like a seven dollar toaster like he, he's business minded he, he wants to you know turn things around and i interpreted that scene as salvaging a situation and then in the edit i was wondering if his thing with cheese and brother and, and, and omar if, if this is like him also trying to salvage the situation i don't know if i'm looking too far into that it's just it was my favorite scene of the episode and i ended up cutting it from the edit because it was just me hmm like being inquisitive or, or nodding in agreement, which doesn't make for a good video, I'd imagine. I saw comments talking about his brother Mazone. Uh, could could it have been inspiration for uh, Gus Fring? Only in the politeness department has that has that front face up for everyone to see very nice, but then you know already planned right behind that smile and the, the politeness is the action, is the violence, is whatever has to happen. So I get that he's polite and well-dressed, but aside from that, I think that's the only difference that I can see. But we only had snapshots of Brother Mazone. We had Better Call Saul and Breaking Bad, worth of Gus. So uh, the sample sizes are very skewed. Stayed up for three hours looking for a CD for a program. Before I realized, I downloaded the program. And the fact that I tore apart my computer shit and my stop motion shit looking forward for hours uh, was all in vain. So, <laughs> slept in a little bit this morning, but uh, the bird is already up and outside, so we should have relative peace and quiet. And there was a comment last episode talking about the audio levels were a little bit lower on the show, or, or conversely, I was higher. Uh, I'll try to be better on that. There were a bunch of scenes in that episode that I did drop the volume on the show because there is music going on. So if you like cranked it up to hear the music, then I'm going to be louder. And then when it drops back to normal levels, you know, volume equalization is the bane of my existence. Like, I, I hate that there's like a master volume and then like a headphone volume. And then, like, a program volume, and then, like, the game enhancer volume, and, and, like, everything is tweaked on different levels, and nothing is the fucking same across anything, commercials, videos, games. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Let's see, the Greek knows that he's getting tapped because his FBI guy kind of let him on that. I don't know, there's only two more, oh, yeah, there's only two more episodes, so if this is the penultimate, is this going to be the big shit? And the next episode is, you know, getting ready, set up for next season, or is this just all the setup and the next episode is when shit hits the fan? I don't know, but I'd like to find out. So no more rambling. Here we go with The Wire, Season 2, Episode 11, Bad Dreams. Okay. Oh, no. 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 No! No! No, oh, the dread. Wake up, Morris. It's on. Fucking everyone's getting hit. All clear. Check upstairs. Turn around. Turn around. Put your hands up. Too. I mean, I, I'm not. I don't want to complain about red tape or government timetables. And you gotta be quick. They're quicker. No way. Good on her. Holy shit. He, see, he sees it's already... They already... Tossed the place. Whoa. Whoa. 
find a goddamn thing to that right now. Oh, was there a footprint through the blood? That's the only thing I can think of. Because they showed blood on the ground, but we knew about that. Yeah, but we saw Nikki in bed with his girl, but then only she was arrested. Where where did Nikki go? Nice. Now they better not keep any of it, because she's gonna report four thousand, and if only two thousand shows up. From behind your clothes washer. That's heroin. Three hundred gel caps. Oh. Oh. Oh no, that's the girl he met on the playground the night before I was drinking. I'm glad I cut out some stuff in that edit then, because I was like, is that his sister? Doesn't he have a sister? I need to get clean. Sabaka. What? Did I read that right? I almost want to go back. Chester, Carol, Sabaka, Ziggy. Be advised, target 27 is on the move. Mr. Carol Sabatka? It's Frank Sabatka's kid. Frank's kid kills one of our targets? Are you shitting me? We hit the store this morning. Every shred of paper is gone. Just a blood stain on the floor. Who caught the Highland Town murder the night before last? Landsman. Landsman? I'll be right over. Yeah, oh yeah, Landsman did ha was interrogating Ziggy in the room. It, it d didn't connect the dot. How did the name Sabatka not ring a bell, you know? Lieutenant? Hey, LT. Fucking lightning is coming for Landsman. <laughs> Feds are waiting on Sabaka. What are they waiting for? You don't want to know. I, I don't know nothing except he's locked up for it. I can't even get him to see him till 10. <clears throat> Visiting hours, yeah. Uh-huh. Everything's going to be fine. Your son just walked into a store and murdered somebody and you know shot up the other kid. FBI, how have you moved? The fuck is this? Got another problem here, Larry. He just wants to be there to actually put the cuffs on him. Big bad on the docks. You don't look so big down, do you? Huh? Are they looking at the camera crews or do they know something's up and they're looking at him? They're looking at him, okay. Okay, it's extras that know what they're doing. It's not just fucking people. I always wonder. I always worry. <laughs> Oh, Mom. right. I thought he was maybe going into work. He was going home and everyone saw she got raided. Pop. I hear a voice. It can't be my son. They say my son did these things. It's gone. And the money, too. They say you need to come in. They said the warrant is at Southeastern Police District. Showtime, Frankie. Those 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 bracelets were barely holding his hands together. <laughs> holding his face and shit like <laughs> The same homicide unit that can't put two and two together and pick up a phone, leaving me to read it a day and a half later in the Baltimore Sun. He uh, signed a full statement. He said that there was an argument about a stolen car or two. Think he'll open up and talk more? I'm sorry, Lieutenant. It's my bad. Well, for now, we'll just call you Boris. <laughs> Boris. Uh, Why always... Why? <laughs> I think I cut that out of the very first interaction with him and Nikki when they met. You help yourself and your union. Help my union? For 25 years, we've been dying slow down there. No lifeline got thrown all that time. Nothing from nobody. And now you want to help us? Help me. We hit your suppliers. They cleaned up and left you holding the dirt. Suppliers of what? You discussed the drug buy on this tape. Do yourself a solid here, Mike. Now the magistrate's gonna ask us some basic questions. Barring anything unforeseen, you're out in an hour. I said nothing in suits. All the better. Intrusive questions can happen in uh, court. Uh, or, or meetings, hearings. Okay, what do you want? Two hot dogs and a strawberry soap. I'd fuck the order up. What? We gotta walk like this because we must kill Helmar. 
Boy, you don't know. I've been dreaming of running into you again. You got focus. <laughs> I give you that. Man, be like that when you got work to do. You know what I mean? Yo, you looking for closure, huh? Hey, look at man. Ain't no closure. They still out there right now. Oh, so now you're gonna play that game and had nothing to do with it. <laughs> nah, I, ain't. I mean, I can't lie. I put the motherfucking paper out on y'all, but y'all was fucking with my stash. Bird and them were there to see it, but another man did all the extras. They're trying to bring out Bodie. Is he trying to bring around Bodie because he's asking guys. questions? And he wants you bad. The brutal shit, that's, you know, that's his calling card. Little bow tie wearing motherfucker. No. Fan. No, no. I thought I thought like five seconds ago that it was gonna that that it was Bodie, and and then I was like, oh no, he's sick. Brother Mozon. <sighs> Fuck me, man. I know you heard of him, right? Damn, I might be able to point you in that direction. Nah, Omar's too smart for this. They wouldn't have contracted well, fucking brother to come down to do that. I figured that'd make us even. And you want to know where this nigga is? Uh, he gave him the hard R. That's one of the first times they've hard r that. I gotta see my son. The man's right, Frank. Just grab a cup of coffee or something. Not now. I need to get clean. That's the line. For heaven's sake, cops do that to you. The cops. He just fighting with General Pop. I'm tired of being the punchline to every joke. I've said something. You wouldn't have heard. When I seen what I did to that kid down at the store, it made me sick of my stomach. <laughs> that ain't you, Zig. It ain't. Because the same blood don't flow for us, Pop. I mean, I wish it did, but it don't. You're a sabaka. Frank's just trying to contend with his failure as a father and, like, being busy with all this stuff and seeing where her son is. This shit's hard to watch. What can I say? The case gets thin when we get up to this, uh, Spiros von Dapos. Well, them Greeks and those twisted ass names. Man, lay off the Greeks, they invented civilization. Yeah, ass fucking too. Exactly. <laughs> we should stay on it. Uh, I don't think they invented it, but they definitely endorsed it. I'm the only fed still in the room. The U.S. attorney has what he wants with the union guys. Which means my field office is pretty much over this case. Okay. We're on Von Duplis ourselves. We should have paid more attention to our own. I gotta try to stop Ziggy from what he done. I don't drop in a net on all the guys. Ain't no secret things get lost in them cans now and again. He'll be all right. Mm. They tossed my house, Frank. Yeah. Heroin, Frank. Nikki would never do that. And once Nikki got used to boosting stuff and seeing a little money, what did you think he was going to do? Turn straight all of a sudden and give it up? No, Frank. Once you gave once him you get a, a taste, taste on yeah. House, just... Puppy. Hey, Kella. I want to say Omar would try to know that Stringer's playing him and look into the time frames to see where brother could have been when, when baby boy got killed and all that. Now, you know stores down the way don't have nothing past vibes, handguns today. Some titty mags, too, if you need. All right. I got you. I'm going to hook you up, though. Good day for a ship. This is the hiring hall, Frank. Working stevedores only. I'll work it for you. Work it for me? I work the ship on your card, you work a bar stool down Clemens Street. And in a week you get paid. He just wants to fucking work? So I'm trying to get clean or make clean or whatever he said earlier. I don't see no resemblance. We're both bald, we're both Polacks. The fuck else you need to know? <laughs> I feel like this is when somebody tries to get back to basics or down to baseline. Not really coming clean, but like starting over. Harry Ellis or something. How would a just rolled out of bed looking motherfucker like you know the designer? Okay, I'm guessing. You know what they call a guy who pays that much attention to his clothes, don't you? Mm hmm. <laughs> a grown up. I, I thought they were gonna be a lot uh, harsher <laughs> about it, but. <laughs>
Maybe you ought to set up an easel on the sidewalk and do a sketch instead. That was fun. Uh -huh. He better know how to load the film. <laughs> Otherwise, what's the point? Anything I ought to know? Yeah. Use the city. Windows, mirrors, reflections. Anything like that. You just touch the ledge, you get fingerprints. What was you going for in the pocket? Ah, there's a lot of people broad daylight, right? We're fine, right? Ballsy. I thought she was just going to, like, see what Flory went up to. If he went all the way to the top floor or something, she better get off, too, because otherwise, why'd she get on the elevator? Bro... No way. I'm suspicious of people if they're behind me <laughs> driving for more than a few seconds. Back, 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 back. I got him going into a fifth floor room. Wait on him there. See the number and leave. I don't like this scene taking so long. This this angle, this shot. 520, bye. Stop looking, bye. I don't know. There's a lot of weird shots and angles with her. I thought that something was going to happen at all times. Maybe because of what happened with Kima in, in the car, but... He took a picture of the Greek walking by in the picture, but he wasn't, they didn't realize it, I don't think. Hey, In that one episode, uh, Prof Joe was telling S Stringer about some guy who sold heroin or something, and he, Stringer had never heard of him, and he was like, that's right, he's low profile, blah, blah, blah. Like, that reminded me of a Gus Spring type. We should run out the paper trail on this guy, see when we turn up. <laughs> As to our only he's tangible piece not of even on their notes. fucking radar, and he's in the picture he's accidentally. Friend, Mike, Mike. The way I read it, they care more about busting up the union than anything else in the case. If we came at Frank straight, take a shot. You go to his house? The union hall. That's his house. Frank, I shouldn't even be seen with you at this point. I just want to settle our business while we still have the chance. Frank, it ain't like I'm going to get my hands on a whole lot more cash for obvious reasons. Frank, the Green Pier is dead. They ain't voting for me, Brucey. It ain't about me. I'm not going to lie, Frank. No one is going to stand with us now that the FBI is over. They took the money, Frank. And now they deliver the votes. They figure the feds are going to be on them, too. Don't freak out, Frank. Don't, know what else. Don't do it. You know what the trouble is, Brucey? We used to make shit in this country. Build shit. Now we just put our hand in the next guy's pocket. They used to make steel there, no? I've shown them too much. There will be no more trouble. Maybe there's another way. There's only one show sure way. Who? Hear me out. What? If I could guarantee that Frank Sabatka and his nephew would be silent. There was a young clerk wounded that day in the store. The prosecutors want to use him as a witness. I know his family. Frank Sabatka will have his son back. If a man can have this, why would he talk to the police? I don't worry about Nico. You are fond of him, Spiros. You should have had a son. But then I would have had a wife. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. That, that is an amazing line. Puppy. No party up in here, girl. Well, we thought Donnell and everybody was going no, to no, get these, smoke on. No, Ain't no, no, this Donnell? is Omar's girl setting you up up front. What's this good boy's name? Hey, boy. Uh, how you doing today? There it is. About a year ago, a boy named Brandon got got here in Baltimore. Stuck and burned before he passed. The game is the game. Indeed. 
<laughs> you got some wrong information. Man, you lying to live. I'm at peace with my God. Do what you will. He believes him. What happened to your boy? It's not my style. Yeah, I want to report a shooting over here at the new motel on North Avenue, room 221. Sorry, I know I'm recording. I've just been fucking sucked into it. It's like, I didn't think they were going to get rid of brother so quickly, hype him up, introduce him, and then off him. Talk to me. And say what? I knew I was wrong. But in my head, I thought I was wrong for the right reasons, you know? There are different kinds of wrong. I can't promise you anything. Unlock the Greek and you Spiros and all, everyone. Everyone. Oh no, and they, but, but they were saying they were going to use Ziggy as a leverage to fucking keep, to get Ziggy out, to keep him quiet. You think he ditched the Benz because he picked up the tail? Relax, Nico, come on. It's like I told you on the phone. It is going to be all right. And Ziggy? Christ, we will be a friend to him too. Many names, many passports. Like, get him out of there? I wouldn't, I wouldn't trust that. Put you on this boat and then fucking toss you over. I'm just looking for, you know, some help with my son. Well, he can't jail where they got him. What about my nephew? He gets arrested and charged, but for his cooperation and yours, we can live with straight probation. So far, so good. I got third on all of them. I'll put myself in, too, whatever you need. Anything but the union. I ain't putting in no union men. I'll give you them dead girls in a can. I'll give you the Greek, all them sons of bitches. Just to have it off my chest. Just look to my son and my nephew. At this point, I have to advise you, you need to retain the services of an attorney. I'm not going to do this now? You just need to have a lawyer present in the room. You have that? We can make this happen first thing tomorrow. Oh, they're going to get to him between... P protect him, put him in protective, Good. keep him out of the po ask. public. Why did you stop using your cell phone? You guys flagged it. Think I didn't know? <laughs> yeah, he called the phone company. I was like, keep it on no matter what. Just keep that bitch running. Under the bridge, huh? It's out in the open. I guess the cops can't bug it or nothing. These guys, they got a big operation to protect. Heroin? How the fuck did that happen, Nick? You ain't much more than a kid. Me, I should have known better. I flushed my fucking family for what? What I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna talk with the police. That's right. I'm gonna do to those cocksuckers what they did to me. You can't do that. Why not? Kid's gonna say that Double G had the gun. That it was like self-defense or some shit. Ah, uh, which hand do you play? Fucking shit, man. Uh, which way to go, Frank? His hand is messed up from the fence. That's good attention to detail. You ain't dealing with those guys no more. Go well, Frank, me and Spirit. I don't fucking want you with me, Nick. Go home! Yeah, yeah, okay. I was like, why are we under a bridge? They just talked about under the bridge is where they'd be. Jimmy McGill in the mailroom here just pushing the cart for the FBI. Surprise! Damn, is he then gonna, if we see the Greek getting off the phone, then that's game over for Frank. Don't be calling them, please. Not now. <sighs> Fuck. Fuck. Fuck, this is so bad. Your way. It won't work. Oh, Frank. You're getting so much time this episode. You, no. They're doing it, aren't they? Right here. They're just... Crit. I don't have time for the next episode. To the outro. Bad dreams. With a clock ticking, the detail makes a desperate move, and Daniels reams out Landsman for dropping the ball. Okay. 
Yeah, the uh, epithet in the beginning about Frank and coming clean and then him having all this time, screen time, and he's putting the work in and he's talking to the police and he's telling Nikki we're not going to you know, do this I, is, is my take on it that he didn't want to do their way of getting the, the witness to, you know, change his story for Ziggy. But then for the for the federal notice to go through and for him to call the Greek right as Frank is walking up. And then that's where they end the episode. <sighs> My stomach hurts, man. I, <laughs> you know, the, the raid in the beginning of the episode and everyone that they targeted, you know, they had everyone but the tippy top of the chain of command. And Frank went in there and said, I'll give you dirt on everything. And then now, fucking, here we are. Outside of that, we definitely had Stringer getting Omar. Omar and Stringer in the same room is wild. But then for him to turn Omar towards Brother Mazone, And for Omar to kind of buy it and run with it. I mean, I guess he is an emotional creature. But still, I mean, we, when it comes to Baby Boy, it was going to be, you know, a sore spot. So maybe the emotion overrode his, you know, general investigative nature. But he scoped out brother, was about to put him down, and then kind of realized that no, no, he believes him, that he wasn't there when it happened, so. Shitstorm coming to Stringer, I hope. Anyway, there's a lot here, but I think that's going to do it for me for now. Uh, thank you so much for being here. The next episode is the season finale, and I said way back in the beginning of season two, I think, or maybe in season one, towards the end of season one, that I was going to push through straight into the show and end at the end of season two, take a short break on the show. We'll see. I'm, I'm trying to get season three of Mr. Robot into the rotation. I want to do more Fringe. The fucking Sopranos, I'm a few episodes in, so we'll see. Anyway, thanks again for being here. Hope to see you soon. And I'm looking forward, question mark, to the next one. Thanks again, and goodbye. <laughs>